Hey guys, so a few days ago, Marty did a tutorial on Shazam, which is used to identify music that's playing on the radio. Today, I'm going to show you an alternative to Shazam called Soundhound and compare some features of the two. You'll start out with Shazam, and you'll see that the interface is pretty simple. You just simply touch their logo to begin identifying the song playing. One problem with Shazam, however, is that in this test, even with full 3G service, it took over a minute and 29 seconds to correctly identify the song, which you'll see in a second. Uh, there you can see Telephone, the Fame Monster remix by Lady Gaga, and while it did get the correct song, including the remix, and it does have some nice features, you can see you can buy the song on Amazon, find out about tour info, even share the song that you ID'd with Facebook, Twitter, texting, and email. That's pretty nice, but at a minute and 29 seconds, it's not that handy. Here you can see Soundhound, where you simply tap the button and it's going to begin to identify the song. Soundhound only took 29 seconds, and once you tap, you can actually stop it as soon as the yellow bar starts going around, you'll see, and it'll begin to identify the song. You can see that it'll search, it'll have a little matching music, and pretty shortly, especially compared to Shazam, it'll show you the song some lyrics, and the layout overall just seems to be a little bit nicer. You can see you can buy it, share it, uh, search it on YouTube, pretty much everything you can do with Shazam, just a little bit cleaner. Another good thing about Soundhound is it actually lets you search by song title or artist for similar songs. Here you can see, we'll just use David Guetta like we had a second ago, and I'll just type that in, click the name, and it'll search. And you'll be able to see a bunch of different songs by this DJ. And not only can you see the names of them, but you can actually preview the song. You'll see the top one, Sexy Chick, there is about to load up. And you can see that it's actually playing. Now, Shazam doesn't have this functionality per se, but you can search on YouTube like I showed. Both programs have a search history, which you can see here, as does Shazam with my tags. Shazam also has a top 10, or even more actually, music chart. And you can also find uh, music that's being talked about on blogs. So here's the chart you can see, uh, you know, top 10. And then the blog in a second I'll also load up so you can see what the layout is for that. Now the blogs usually take a little bit longer to load. Again, I've cut down the loading time a little bit for the sake of this tutorial or informative video. You can see it has every day just broken down some top music that's being talked about on the internet. Those are the main features of the two. Um, it's really up to you whichever you want to take. Just check out our website for more great videos like this, including some tutorials and just information in general.